Dot and Jabber, and the Great Acorn Mystery by Ellen Stoll Walsh Genre Informational fiction tells a make-believe story, but it also gives facts and information. The next story is a mystery about trees and how they grow where they do. Question of the Week How do we solve mysteries? The detectives had nothing to do. We need a mystery to solve, said Jabber. Here's a mystery, said Dot. What is this little oak tree doing here? Why is that a mystery? Jabber wanted to know. Because of the acorn, said Dot. How did it get here? Dot, said Jabber, what acorn? Acorns are oak tree seeds. This little oak tree grew from an acorn, and acorns come from big oak trees. Oh, that acorn, said Jabber. But where's the big oak tree? That's part of the mystery, said Dot. Let's look for clues. Okay, shouted Jabber, because we're detectives. He poked his head into a hole. Hey, this is my hole, said a mole. Go away. There are no clues down here. Try the big oak tree on the other side of the meadow. Of course, said Dot. Come on, Jabber. That's a long, long way, said Jabber. How did our acorn get from there to here? Do you think it walked? Let's find out, said Dot. The acorn began at the big oak tree. So will we. The detectives set off across the meadow. After a while, Jabber said, I'm tired. Can we wonder about all these maple seeds instead? There's no mystery in maple seeds, said Dot. They have wings that twirl, and they ride the wind across the meadow. Maybe our acorn rode the wind, too, said Jabber. That is what we are going to find out, said Dot. At last, they arrived at the big oak tree. Look, said Dot, I bet there are a million acorns here. They don't have wings, said Jabber, but they taste good. Don't eat them, Jabber, they're clues. Acorns don't have wings, but they might have sneaky feet, said Dot. Let's keep watch and see if they start to move. Plip. An acorn dropped from the big oak tree. Jabber poked it with a stick. This acorn isn't going anywhere, he said. None of them are. A squirrel came and sat down among the acorns. Jabber, look, Dot whispered. What is he doing? Oh, gasped Jabber. He's eating our clue. He can't be, said Dot. The shell is still on it. So why is he stuffing it in his mouth? asked Jabber. The squirrel ran off. Oh, no, he's stealing the acorn, the detectives cried and ran after him. When the squirrel stopped, they stopped, and watched to see what would happen next. What's he doing now? asked Jabber. Digging a hole. Look, he's hiding the acorn. Jabber stared at Dot. Maybe he's planting it. Of course, said Dot. Our acorn crossed the meadow on squirrel feet. 
and got planted by squirrel feet, said Jabber, and grew into the little oak tree, said Dot. The mystery is solved. We are two clever mouse detectives. Hooray, shouted Jabber. Now what will we do? Find another mystery, said Dot. But I'm hungry, said Jabber. First, let's go eat some of those leftover clues. <laughs>